Do, 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 do. Huh? Oh, hello there. This is The Wrestling Show, and I am your host, The Block, and this is my four-year anniversary on YouTube. I have been making, mostly, wrestling videos on YouTube for four years. I've seen a lot of them come, and I've seen a lot of them go. Mostly bad. But there have been a lot of good ones. But I am definitely one of the best. I am up there at the top. You know, I try to spice things up, maybe occasionally add some graphics, maybe try not to be monotone, and heck, I think I'm even recording in HD. Let's hope so. So yes, I've been on YouTube for four years. Like I said, I've seen them all come, and I've seen them all go, and very few are still around from four years ago, back in the supposed heyday of the YWC, which is odd because all they did back then was, you know, Review pay-per-views and DVDs, have grainy video, oh, and truthfully and spinnernet bought. That was the big thing back then. Uh, two grown men in their, I guess, mid-30s, early 30s, uh, fought about wrestling. And we had drama about, um, opinions. Your opinion's dumb, cause it's based on less things that I find credible. No, your opinion's dumb. That was pretty much the YWC four years ago. And there was some good stuff in there too, but if there was to be a book written about the YWC four years ago, it would mostly be drama, grainy videos, e-bagging, you know, all that good stuff. So, since I've been flagged so much, and I do want to at least make this video, you know, I have this video get out, you know, being on YouTube for four years, that's a momentous occasion, and I'd like to share it with everybody. Oh. I should also thank all of you who have ever watched any of my videos, or will watch them, or even just left random hateful comments, like, you're stupid, you know, maybe I am, but thanks anyway for the view and comment, so thank you all for that. Whew, they're a little overwhelming. Well, I was going to do lots of special effects, maybe show clips, you know, it's four years, gotta make it have some pizzazz, but I get so many flags, Google and YouTube hate me. And I guess some of the YWC members hate having, they don't want high definition, they don't want graphics, they don't want pizzazz, you know, they just want boring reviews. So, I guess I'll just do one of those. Well, I guess I'll do a preview. Um, the TLC, WWE <laughs> TLC, man, I haven't watched wrestling in a little while. Oh, by the way, I am emulating live, not from Florida. But from Tennessee, I'm on a road trip, so. Oh, where do we begin? We have U.S. Champion Antonio Cesaro versus R-Truth for the United States Championship. Does anybody really care? I mean, Antonio, that's the dude that used to be Claudio, right, in ROH. Shows you how much I've been following wrestling, especially when it comes to ROH or SmackDown. Uh... Our truth because I'm pretty sure this is like the third time they faced off on pay-per-view, and why the hell not, you know. You got the Intercontinental Champion, Kofi Kingston versus Wade Barrett. Oh, it should be a good match, but at the same time, both men are going to end up being losers somehow. You know, either Kofi gets the belt and it makes Wade look kind of weak, or, you know... Oh, excuse me, Kofi is the champ, correct? Yes. Kofi is the champion. And, oh, I hope so. Oh, man, I'm looking dumb on camera. How can you do this? What a horrible... Okay, yes, Kofi is the Intercontinental Champion. We're going against Wade Barrett. So Wade Barrett looks weak if he doesn't win. But Kofi... I mean, without the belt, what's he going to do? I mean, he's one of those guys that should have been the upper mid-carder. And they... I mean, he doesn't... He has wrestling skill. He could probably have some... I don't know, entertainment value, like, he, he's not bad, but, I don't know, just the way he is, he's, he's a lot more generic than he was, I mean, I know he had that run with Randy Orton in 09, and, and they kind of dropped it, so, I don't know what, Wade Barrett pretty much has to win, right, I mean, Kofi, sure, he's going to lose some airtime, but, he's been in the company so long that, you know, he had his chance, Wade Barrett, you know, he hasn't really had much of a chance to shine. He got his injury. You know, he was thrown in Nexus. I mean, that's handicapping a guy. I mean, sure, he looked pretty good in Nexus, but he would have done a lot better if he would have got out of Nexus. <laughs> and let's not forget the core. You know, they saddled him with the core, so. 
let's go Wade Bear. You know, I, I think if he wins this Intercontinental title, stays injury free, big things will happen. Team Helmo and Ryback versus The Shield. The Shield is basically basically two of the dudes look like uh, like creepy guys that would hang out in parking lots watching football games at high schools. But of course they have no children of their own nor relatives. They're just in the parking lot. I'm going to watch. Like they're spying on cheerleaders. Basically I'm kind of saying they're like uh, weirdos. Okay, They look weirdos. Especially the un-Seth Rollins guy. What's the other dude that looks kind of creepy looking, borderline alcoholic? I don't know. They all look kind of creepy. Hold on. Maybe those names will show up. I don't even know who that. I know Seth Rollins and that other dude. Um, Seth Rollins, Tyler Black. Another one of those generic uh, Xerox indie guys. He has some wrestling skill but has no personality or isn't allowed to show it or can't show it. But he's just one of those, you know, carbon copy. Oh, look, this kind of scraggly guy that can do some flips and basic wrestling and can kind of get on the mic without stuttering too much. Just Seth Rollins is not one of a kind. I don't see what they see in him, but heck, he's following his dream, so go Seth Rollins. Don't know that other dude with the black hair, but the dude with, like, the brownish blonde hair that looks like a creepy uncle sitting in a parking lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where was I going with that? Oh, this, this is not good. Anyway, uh, uh, Team Malno, I guess, will win. Because Ryback's on it, and I thought they were building Ryback, so he can't lose a match. Uh, and who cares about the Shields? So. World Heavyweight Champion Big Show versus Sheamus in a chairs match. I'm pretty sure a few years ago, Batista and Undertaker had a chairs match, and it ended with a disqualification because Batista did a low blow. So maybe we'll see the same again. I mean, but, I mean, Big Show's on his way out, so why not let him have the title until he retires? Uh, guess he's going to go to WrestleMania with it or something? He'll probably lose it at Royal Rumble. I guess uh, Dolph Ziggler, if he's still Money in the Bank guy, could cash in. Uh, I, but they really they have a hard on for Sheamus, so I can't see Sheamus. You know what? I'm gonna go with Sheamus, but I'd rather just have Big Show win. You know, he's been in wrestling a long time. He's done a lot of stuff. They shat on him a lot. You know, he, he's not, I'm not saying he's great, but. Just give him one fight. Kind of like they did with Mark Henry. Mark, you know, here's a title. You're pretty much done. You know, why not? He, he gets so, I mean, they gave it to Kyle Lee. So big show. All right. At least he's got better mic skills and perhaps wrestling skills than Sheamus anyway. Now we have uh, John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler for the Money in the Bank briefcase at the ladder match. Why? Why? John Cena is John Cena. What does he need a number one contenders match? He could just show up on Raw and be like, I'm going to challenge for the title. And, ugh. I mean, it's good in the fact that if Dolph Ziggler wins, he looks really good, you know, I beat John Cena. But you think they're going to do that? Or are they going to have, who knows, the shield run in there? Or are they going to do something stupid? And, uh, yeah, who knows with that. Uh, it should be a great match. And you know what's not mentioned on here? And since Raw's tonight, I'll edit that part in. What is the main event? CM Punk is injured. Who is he defending his title against? Or is he? Is he just gonna... Because, you know, you've got 30 days to defend your title. So maybe he'll be back in time for the Royal Rumble. And he's already defended his title recently, so... It should fall in within the 30 days. So let's see. Wow. So after watching my video, I'm attempting to edit it to make it sound intelligent. Is that, that's a big job cut out for me. But yeah, uh, watching Raw and I'm not really having any fun. But apparently the main event is Hell No, Kane, Daniel Bryan, and Ryback versus The Shield. That is your main event for TLC. 
And before I go, this is my four year anniversary. I did a nice little, you know, intro, retrospect of my career on YouTube. You know, I'm a Navy veteran, college graduate, and now a YouTube success story. I just did a prediction, you know, little segment in a video, but what YouTube video, especially in the YWC, would be complete without an unbagging, or really an unpackaging. I wonder what's in it. I got this at a grocery store. Mmm, it's a Newton's Fruit Thins, kind of like the package says. These are actually pretty good. They're like cookie crackers. And this one is blueberry and brown sugar. So if you like blueberry brown sugar, both of them, at least one of them, give them a try. Yummy. Thank you all, and have a great week.